Hello to all. Today we are going to study about the MCQs based on a chapter related to the human physiology and that is the breathing and exchange of the gases. That is the questions are based on the human respiration and these questions are important for the forthcoming exams NEET and the AIMS and all are based totally on the NCRT concepts. Okay. So the first is match the columns. Nowadays these type of the questions are asked in exams that match the column A with the column B. So in NCRT you have studied about the various type of the capacities, okay, volumes uh, related to the respiration. Okay. So you have to match now tidal volume. Tidal volume is called as a TV and we have to match it with the column B. So the volume of the tidal volume is that is the 500 ml. So A is matched with 3. Inspiratory reserve volume. Now inspiratory reserve volume is 2500 to uh, 3000 uh, ml. Okay. So it is matched with 4. Vital lung capacity. What is vital lung capacity? So expiratory reserve volume plus tidal volume plus inspiratory reserve volume right makes vital lung capacity and inspiratory capacity is inspiratory capacity is the tidal volume plus the inspiratory reserve volume okay so the volume of air taken during near normal breathing and the volume of air taken inside during forceful inspiration so TV is tidal volume, IRV is inspiratory reserve volume. So D can be matched with the first one. So the answer is tidal volume 500 ml. A is matched with 3. Inspiratory reserve volume that is 2500 ml to 3000 ml. Vital lung capacity is matched with 2 that is expiratory reserve volume plus TV tidal volume plus inspiratory reserve volume and the fourth one inspiratory capacity is equal to TV plus uh, that is we can inspiratory capacity to TV plus IRV means tidal volume plus inspiratory reserve volume. So question number one is having the answer A. Okay. Now question number two a table is given. Okay. This question was based on NCRT first one. It is present on page number 271. Right. Uh, 272 NCRT and now question number 2 there is a table given on page number 272 17.1 table in NCRT this question is from there a data is given partial pressure of oxygen and partial pressure of carbon dioxide okay deoxygenated blood and oxygenated blood fine now values of A and B are missing here values of A and B are missing here that what is the partial pressure of oxygen of the deoxygenated blood and what is the partial uh, pressure of the carbon dioxide of the oxygenated blood okay so a and b are missing here so you have to write it you have to choose it that the values of a and b are so always remember if you see the table of the ncrt uh, table 17.1 on page number 272 you will be able to see that here it is 40 mm hg and here also it is 40 mm hg so the answer must be D that is 40 mm Hg here also and 40 mm Hg here also. So question number 2 is having the answer D. Okay. So now coming to the question number 3. Every 100 ml of oxygenated blood, every 100 ml of the oxygenated blood delivers about dash ml of oxygen to the tissue. The question is that that every 100 ml of the oxygenated blood carries how much ml of O2 to the tissues. So this question is actually from page number 274 of the NCRT. If you see the last para right of the NCRT on page number 274 you will be able to see that every 100 ml of oxygenated blood delivers about 5 ml delivers about 5 ml of oxygen to the tissues so the answer is b question number three is having the answer b fine now match the following column a should be matched with column b 
Now, these are some of the organisms and these are the respiratory organs through which they respire. So, aquatic mollusk respire with the help of, aquatic mollusk always respire with the help of gills, birds respire with the help of lungs, insects respire with the help of tracheal tubes and earthworm respire with the help of its moist cuticle. So, the answer is A is matched with 3. B is matched with 2, C is matched with 4 and earthworm D is matched with the moist cuticle. So the correct answer is question number 4 is having the answer A. Right? Certain organisms are having different type of the respiratory organs and this question is asked from uh, chapter number 17 that is the breathing and exchange of gases and page number 268 it is actually located at the page number 268 answer is a and question number five the covering of lung is called as so it is mentioned on page number 269 ncrt class 11th book that the covering of lung is called as pleural membrane the covering of the lung is called as pleural membrane which can be called it as pleura which can be called it as pleura so the covering of the lung is called as question number five the answer is B that lungs are covered by pleural membrane. Okay, so these questions were based on the chapter human physiology that is breathing and exchange of gases. We will be coming soon with a few more videos based on the human physiology. So keep watching, these questions are based on NCRT and can be helpful for you uh, for the forthcoming NEET and the AIMS. If you want to take the screenshot, you can take. Thank you.